So one time um, Missy was sitting on a tour bus and um, or I was sitting on a tour bus and Missy came on a bus and um, she asked me how things was going, how I, you know, how I felt about being out there. And I just told her, I was like, you know, it's kind of different for me. I see when you go in the studio, you able to sit there and you engineer yourself because Missy would sit at the boards. She'll close the door. She'll be in there by herself. No closed session. And I was I felt like. I didn't reach that status enough for me to ask for that. Although that's how I did it at home, the mm -hmm. same way that mm -hmm. she did it. So when I told her that, she was like, no, you have to ask for what you need. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Sometimes you don't want that unwanted attention when you go into the studio. Sometimes with people that are around that, you don't really want them to mess up your mental Yeah, you space. know, I, well, there, was, there was a moment when I was working with Timberland and Missy, right? Mm -hmm. And I was kind of intimidated because they had so many people Come in on the now. studio yeah. at mm -hmm. the time. But no, no, listen, they had so many, so many other artists right. and different writers and stuff like that. And... They would go to the club, like some of the some of the people in a writing camp. They mm -hmm. would go to the club, and then be go back to the studio at like you know two three in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I'm a morning person, so I wake up early. I like to record early, but I'm not gonna miss the opportunity. So I would be up like around the clock, and I'd be in the studio recording. And a lot of people would just come peek in the session, come standing there smoking and all that. But I wasn't really used to that. So one time um, Missy was sitting on a tour bus and um, or I was sitting on a tour bus and Missy came on a bus and um, she asked me how things was going, how I, you know, how I felt about being out there. And I just told her, I was like, you know, it's kind of different for me. I see when you go in the studio, you able to sit there and you engineer yourself because Missy would sit at the boards. She'll close the door. She'll be in there by herself. No closed session. And I was I felt like. I didn't reach that status enough for me to ask for that, although that's how I did it at home, the mm -hmm. same way that mm -hmm. she did it. So when I told her that, she was like, no, you have to ask for what you need in order to make the best work. Because when people hear the outcome, they not going to know, oh, well, somebody that's was right. in my session right. distracting me, whatever, whatever. So she was like, you got to ask for what you want so you can make the best work that you can. And um, I, I, I felt what she said. I felt inspired by it. The next day when I was in the studio, early in the morning, there was a drill, like somebody drilling on the door. Mm. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? The handyman was changing the locks and putting an actual lock, cause you couldn't lock it from the inside. They put a lock on it. And I was like, what, what, what's going on? They say, oh, Missy put that there for you. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So the fact, yeah. So that inspired me to and gave me more confidence. Like she really was investing in the fact and and, and telling dope. me, no, you gotta make sure you put you and your music first. You know what I mean? So yeah, that was like that a gotta be live. I mean, how long dope. was you hanging out doing doing this with them? That was about a year and a half, maybe. Wow, yeah. Man, so wow. I was in I was in Miami at um. Well, that happened at. Uh, Tim Studio, Thomas Crown in Virginia, but it was like a year and a half back. And Did forth. you keep in contact with her? Yeah, um, not because I ended up not signing with them. Mm. You know what I mean? But um, she's like sent messages and said encouraging things, but I didn't end up doing business with them. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But that door opened just for you to see that God has well opened the door so you can peek through it. That's mm. a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. <laughs> Let's so I, I got a question about okay. her music. So. What is the overall message that you want people to know about your music? What What do you want people to get from your music overall? Well, a lot of times that message varies, but I make music for people who may not have that whole cheering section for them. You know what I'm saying? This is the soundtrack for the hustlers. This is the soundtrack for people who feel like you know, I would like to have people support me, but even if they don't, I know I'm one on one. I know I'm going to, you know what I mean? And that's why I named this Already Legendary, my company Already Legendary, because I don't need the validation from others to tell me what I already know about like myself. That. So, you know, I, I have reality rap, you know what I mean? I talk my shit. I had the song Freak Like Me, you know, that's, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know what I mean? I have all of those, those different elements in my music, but the overall message is that even when you don't have people cheering for you, you got to be your 
your cheerleader. I you agree know what 100%, I mean? man. Yeah, Like yeah. I said, you dope. You've always been dope to me. Thank I, you. I want the projects to keep coming. Um, no cap. That's what these young folks be saying. <laughs> no cap, or they'll say yeah. something like standing on business. But at the end of the day, I think that's you represent culture and you represent our, our you know, successful black women, man. I, I mean, beautiful that. black women. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's important for our young girls. You know, they mm -hmm. can see the twerking and they can see all the stuff, and it's fun. But to see somebody that's encouraging with entrepreneurship skills that understand how to brand themselves and be successful in today's times mm -hmm. is remarkable. And I see that in you. So thank, thank you. you so much. You no, know what I'm of saying? Course, of course. That's real. Like I like I said, I I mean, you know, you got just gotta get credit where credit is due, how though. You know how we used to say it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> you do that credit because you put that work in, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, so is there any anybody up and coming? Who's the new uh girls, the young girls that you you got the message from Missy and you seen the inspirational moments from certain individuals? Who is that young girl wow. that that, that you've had the opportunity to say some encouraging things to? You know, that's a very good question because I can't name one. Mm. Oh, it's happening. No, but the reason why I say that is because I would love the opportunity to, to be hard. able to name one. Mm. You know, I would, I would hope that my message spread wide enough because I hear people all the time tell me, but I haven't worked closely with like a female artist that or, way, or a rapper. I haven't. Um, I just... Within the last, um, well, February, February, I became um, on the one of the board members on the um, Junior Board Association for the Universal Hip Hop Museum. Come on, this man. is a sixty-five million dollar development Ooh. in um, in the Bronx, New York. I sit on the board with Yo Yo. I sit on really? the board with Fat Joe. There's Nas on the board. Yeah, so um, there's a lot of there's a lot of artists. This project is a huge project, and I'm the only one from the South. Love it, man. You know what I mean? I'm the I'm the only um, independent artist from the South, young female on the board or whatever. So there's a lot of initiatives that we're working together to do, mm. um, charity and all of that. But yeah, that's something that I, I really want to put oh, my coming. focus on too. Oh, it's coming. And there's also, they just um, honored me in New Orleans with the proclamation really? from this year for my contribution to hip hop in New Orleans. So mm. there's a lot of things that I've done, but I don't sit back and say, this is, you know what I mean? But it's, it's good to be recognized, yeah. but I do want to hone in. But I can't say like there's a female rapper that I took under my wing or something because there's really not. Not yet, mm -hmm. not yet. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, there's so much more to you. And I hope I can just be an example by the way that I move. You I know what I mean? The same, that already. The, same way that, the same way that Missy just saw that there was a, you know, I said something and she was like, all right, bam. I, I, I hope that I can continue to do that in that yeah, way. I but think. the encouragement right now is b encouraging people to have that courage to actually say something because people will think it and not say it, especially be intimidated by, oh, that's Missy. I'm not going to say that to her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I love that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.